How you doing guys? Um, I'm gonna uh, probably do some uh, demo here and um, the, re the reason this went about is because I, I use a, a program quite frequently for dialogue um, interviews and things like that um, which is very useful because it actually evens out all the the audio and which is level later which is right here and you simply um, um, in case I use Final Cut Pro 10 and then I export it the audio only and then um, drag and drop right into the levelator and then it will uh, it's got basically a compressor and limiter and all that built in and it'll normalize the audio um, now this only works with you know dialogue um, music and other things like that it's not really gonna work very well um, but for what I use, I use it probably the most. Now, the only thing with the levelator uh, is it's not being currently developed anymore, and which is means uh, eventually it's not gonna it's gonna stop working. And uh, in this case, I use Mac, so in fact, um, one upgrade I did uh, uh, it's been a few years ago. Uh, the levelator wouldn't even come up anymore, so there was some workarounds. Um, you know to make it actually work again so eventually it's gonna stop working so I started looking at you know third-party solutions um, currently I found one that I think I like and perhaps even better than the uh, the levelator um, I need to do some more testing on that of course and uh, this actually comes from uh, Larry Jordan actually but there's a couple more tweaks that you can do to it that I like to do myself as well and you simply, uh, if you're in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, you just simply go to your audio section. And uh, let me see here. I'm already in the audio right now. Um, now they have two limiters. One's in Final Cut. I like to use Logic simply because it's uh, developed more from, uh, they actually get their Logic plugins from Logic 10. And then you simply use the limiter um, the Logic Pro version and you drag it onto your your audio now, as you can see I've got two tracks of audio one that I use with um, the limiter and the other one I use from the Levelator 2 version 2 and so I'm going to show you the set, the uh, Larry Jordan settings along uh, along with my uh, tweak as well. And uh, once you put on the uh, the limiter, and then you're just going to simply go to uh, open up the limiter right here. Now you you kind of have like two settings: uh, one for uh, single person dialogue. Um, interview or whatever. Now if you have multiple people it's going to be set a little bit differently. Um, now your output level, levels uh, normally going to uh, I believe set at zero and uh, your default and uh, you're going to set that to negative uh, 3 uh, dB. You're going to put on your uh, soft knee right here. You're going to make sure that's lit up. Now your release going to be you're going to have to set that to uh, 230 uh, milliseconds um, I believe the look aheads are going to be set for 2.0 milliseconds and your gains normally I think it's going to be set at zero but um, you're going to go actually to 10 dB so basically what that's going to do is it's going to prevent your audio from uh, you know going too loud yet it's going to raise the background uh, or the softer parts up quite a bit um, at the same time so this is going to be set normally to negative three so you're gonna um, once you uh, check your audio you're gonna verify you know it's gonna go to run your um, negative three range you're gonna actually see this meter up here now for multiple let's say you have multiple guests or multiple people talking then you might want to set that to um, I believe that's 3.5 I believe or no excuse me 4.5 or negative 4.5 dB um, for you know other situations so um, since 
normally I, I just use it for that. I'm going to set it uh, negative three. And uh, now this is a tweak of my own as well. And um, of course, doing in accordance with what you prefer as well. So we're going to go ahead and close that for the uh, limiter setting. What I like to do, and you can actually add some more plugins, audio plugins as well, is I like to. Oops, that's uh, still a limiter. I am going to go to the equalization, and I actually like to uh, bo base, uh, boost the bass a little bit. Now, normally during audio, you, no you normally want to boost the treble. I, I don't really like it that way. It makes it too uh, uh, tinny sounding. So I usually like to uh, boost the bass slightly, and it kind of, to me, it kind of enhances the audio. Uh, depending on your preference now so um, you we can actually save this as a preset so you're going to uh, put in your your limiter and any other effects in this case I put the uh, equalization and then we're going to save that as a preset and uh, as you can see here we got the limiter in its settings and here the EQ as well and here from here you could actually um, all your different audio effects and then save that. Now we're going to rename this and uh, we're going to call it uh, normalize and uh, I'm doing this one handed here so just like that and then we're going to save that as a preset. Oh let me see where we can save that. Um, and this will actually save it in your presets down here for your audio uh, plugins. So, in fact, we're going to put that in levels, which is normally where we find the limiter, compressor, and so on. Just like that. Now it should. There we go. Then we have the normalized plugin right here that we just um, made uh, using the two effects. And. In fact, I'll actually show you here, and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it in the background or not, but um, check the audio meters here on the right, and we're going to check and see what the, uh, those are going to be set at. They should be and we're so we're going right around negative 12. And normally that's what I prefer to have it set at when I record anyway. That's to me that's. Uh, the perfect recording level. Obviously, anything over zero dB is going to be distorting. So, between twelve, negative twelve, and zero is going to be the perfect recording level, um, just like so. And so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop that. We're actually going to go to the audio that we use Levelator with, and then we're going to check that the audio levels on that. And uh, that one's set a little bit high. It's probably going between um, anywhere from, and to me, it's kind of bouncing around a little bit too much. And actually, I may even prefer the new um, limiter versus even the uh, levelator. So I don't know. I got to do more testing uh, to check that out as well. And uh, also what I meant to do, which I forgot uh, we're going to do now, is um, show you the, we're going to also bring up the, uh, the module here and play the audio and we should see a, a gain reduction of around, or the output level at uh, negative three, and, or no more, which is uh, this audio right here. Okay, just like so. And like I said, we could actually delete this. Okay, this limiter right here. And uh, we're also going to take away the uh, the bass boost and we're just going to choose that as flat and we're simply going to drag that normalize plugin that we just created. Um, so we're going to test that out just to make sure and I love the way you can make these presets is sort of like their own effect so this is great on the uh, uh, Final Cut Pro 10.3 
um, just like so. Now, hopefully in future versions, they're actually gonna put the normalize plugin, which from Logic Pro, um, I don't know, maybe if it's, it's a combination of some of their other ones that we just did, but um, it looks like I may even uh, start using this over even uh, level later too. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.